In this video, we're going to talk about potty training. Now, what we have basically is probably a little bit of a need for some remedial potty training. Now, Abby here was adopted through Little White Dog Rescue, which, or excuse me, not Little White Dog Rescue, that's a different state, through Mayday Rescue, which is my favorite rescue by far in the, in the Southern California area. Um, so basically, she, uh, we had another, we had a trainer that came by, and I don't know what the trainer did. Well, the trainer did some things that kind of confused the dog. So. The way that we're going to potty train or do remedial potty training is, first of all, what's the command word that they have to go potty? Potty. Okay. How do you introduce the word potty? Just by saying it, Said I guess. Potty, Take, go potty. Taking them go outside and show, pointing and, and showing And saying, them. go potty. Yeah, go potty. But if you don't understand Spanish, <laughs> and I say, you know, um, uh, la segura, and you don't understand what Spanish is, and I keep on saying it over and over again, the more that I say it doesn't help you understand it. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can point to what the object is and say the name and pantomime, you can put it together. Mm -hmm. So the way we introduce the, the command word for the dog is by saying it at the same time that they start. So if you look at their rear end, there we go. If you look at their rear end, uh, if they're about to poop, you'll see it kind of pucker up a little mm -hmm. bit. Abby. I can tell that Abby just doesn't like this surface. So we're gonna probably do a little bit of work with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do that off camera. So what, first of all, when we wanna introduce the word, what we do, and, and since you've been saying potty and it hasn't really registered, I would come up with a new word. For quest, I use the word business. Okay. So it's just a different word. So as soon as you see the dogs uh, start to poop or they start to pee, or if you can say it right before they start, we wanna say the command word, business. Now, as soon as they get done, then we're gonna say the, uh, the command, or I usually crouch down into like a baseball position like this, and I have a treat, and then I say, business. The same second the treat touches their lips. Mm -hmm. So that connects the action with the word. Now, we have a dog that's peeing out here on the concrete, as well as inside. And so we don't wanna pee on the concrete, we wanna pee on this and this. And I can tell already that she doesn't like walking on this, mm -hmm. so part of your rehabilitation, like I said earlier, is gonna be uh, rewarding her for doing it. There we go. So what I would do is when you bring her over here, I would bring her out on a leash at the times that she's apt to go. So the time she's gonna be apt to go is about uh, 15 minutes after uh, playing, 10 minutes after eating, uh, and pretty much right after waking up. Uh, so after the three of those things, I'm gonna bring them outside, bring her on a leash to this spot. Now we're also gonna get her relaxed and comfortable being on, uh, on this surface. But once we've done that, we're, when she, as soon as she does the business here, we're gonna say the word, and then as soon as she, we, she gets done, we're gonna give her five treats. Business. Once she's chewed that, I would have another one, let me pop this open. Business. Sorry, Penny, you pee in the right place so you don't get me these, this motivation. <laughs> business. So I'm doing it a little bit slower now, but business. So I want her to say like, holy cow, what did I just do? I got all these amazing treats. What happened? What's different? Well, it's right after she went potty and we have a new command word, business. There we go. There we go. Um, so after you've done that for about a week, maybe two weeks, then we take her out here with us without the leash. And we have the five treats here. Now if she pees up here, we maybe give her five treats. If she pees down here, maybe we give her three treats. If she pees on the concrete, she gets nothing. So after a while, we give her a motivation or an incentive to actually go where we want her to go. Um, I don't what know do what we the do when we're not home. When you're not home, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I have a little. Uh, what I would honestly recommend you do uh, temporarily. Uh, well, I'll talk about that off camera because I want to keep okay. this concise. But basically, what we want to do is give her a good reward every time she comes here. Now, if if the reward is substantial every time she goes out here, and we can get her enough times in a row, I'm trying to get her four paws on there. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got all four. <laughs> now we'll see if we can get an SIT. 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 <laughs> Sit, Abby. Sit. Sit. So I think part of the big problem is that she doesn't like walking on the surface, which we'll, we'll fix. But by rewarding her properly when she goes here, and with the leash, she doesn't have an option, especially if we take her out those times that she has to go. Now, one of my little secrets, dogs have to pee within about 45 minutes of them drinking. So what I would do is set her up for success 
by doing this on a weekend or when you're here, when you fit, give her her meal, for dogs, the temperature of food is more important than the taste. So what I do is I put hot water in with the dry kibble and I let it sit. So just enough so they're all floating a little bit. I let it sit for about half an hour. You go back, there'll be no water. They'll all be blown up like marshmallows. Then I put even more hot water in, swirl it around, and I put it down when, I, when they do have permission to eat. She has to drink the water first. So we can load her up with a couple pints of water, we, and then we know I'm going to be here for 45 minutes at least. So then I'm going to take her out every 15 minutes, and when she, I know she's got a potty, then I reward her richly. So we want to put her in a position so she has no other option. When she's inside, I would have her on a leash tied to my belt or, or carrying the leash around or put her in a kennel if she's kennel trained so that she has no option to go anywhere else other than here. And when she does, we reward her richly. After we do that enough times in a row, she's going to be wanting, she'll run over here like, come on, I got to pee, come on, come get out of here. I got to, you know, so she'll do it almost on, to, on spec for you guys to reward her. Okay. So um, the, changing the command word, taking her out here on a leash, let's see, less hesitation this time if you noticed. So the first time she would one paw only. And so we're using a motivator, the high value treat, to get her to be inclined to come over here. So the further that she comes in here, the more treats, the more rewards she gets. And you saw that in that video, you'll watch, she's got a couple of her feet up, there we go. So this is, we'll just transition this into the next video. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting her accustomed to walking on this, and every time she takes a step, she gets another reward. And you see she's using, she, well, I don't know if you can see it, she's sitting on two of these. Abby. Yeah. A lot less hesitancy. So I really think your surface, and this is something we do in our puppy class, we actually have all these different surfaces to get the dog used to walking on. I've had some clients the dog won't walk on a linoleum because it's never seen anything shiny before and just freaks out, does not how to process it. So it's gonna be inconvenient for you to do this and we'll have to structure it so we don't have, they don't have the ability to do it inside for the short period of time while we're working on this. But eventually she's gonna understand this gets me something, doing it there gets me nothing, and it's only an extra couple steps so I'm happy to go on the AstroTurf and potty there. So this is how we teach our dog to potty, uh, or give them incentive to potty where we want them to. Cool, you can stop.